Welcome back, this is Super Slinky 7 with another Minecraft World Edit tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make more advanced selections than just a cube. So, in the last video I showed you how to do terraforming, like changing the landscape around you, making pumpkin patches, fixing water, stuff like that. But today I will be showing you how to make more advanced selections. Now, you probably all know how to do a simple selection by left clicking and right clicking and you get a cuboid. But sometimes that's not good enough. And that's why I will be showing you how to select an irregular polygon, a sphere, and a cylinder shape. So, First, I'll show you how to do a polygon. So you do slash slash cell poly. So first I start by left clicking as if to destroy a block. And then I right click to add a point. As you can see, I have this area selected. Now, if you're wondering what mod this is, this is World Edit CUI. This is a very useful mod for this type of selecting, especially when you get into spheres and cylinders, because, I mean, when you select a bunch of points, it's pretty hard to visualize it in your mind. And I will include a link to this mod in the description. So, anyway, apart from that, as you can see, I've selected these blocks. And you may notice by the visual that I have not selected the blocks in the corners. And if that's not clear enough for you, I can say set stone. And as you can see, I mean, that's pretty cool. And this is pretty useful if you don't want to just select a square like. Let me try making something here. Whatever. Let's make happy face. Because everybody likes happy faces. Actually, that's not a good example. Here, I'll make an irregular shape. Let's make an L. So, I want to just select that L and I want to make, I want to change it so that it's lapis lazuli. So, as you can see, the selection is in L shape. And I can say set lapis lazuli. And there we go. So that's pretty useful. And um, I guess this is a good time, so I'll show you this before I show you the other type of selections. Now, you can change your selection if you want to make it bigger, but you don't want to reselect it. Say I want, I want that L to go up really far. So I can say slash slash expand 10 and U for up. And that, ex that selection has been expanded. Now, I can't do that the easy way by making an L and then selecting up like here. You can't do that. You can only select 2D, which is why this command is useful for this type of selection, because I can say expand 10 down also or in any direction, north, south, east, west, 
and you can tell which direction north, south, east, and west are by looking at the direction that the clouds move. I got clouds off, but if I turn them on, you can see which direction they're moving. And the direction that they are moving is north. So you can use that to tell which is north. And then I can say expand 10 north. But that doesn't work. Not on a polygon. Because especially if you were expanding south, it wouldn't know what to do because that's an irregular surface that it's stretching. But if I have a normal selection, oh, I gotta say select normal. Oh. Select cuboid. And then I can say expand 10 north. It goes like that. So if I wanted to select like a wall or something and I didn't want to go all the way to the edge of each side, I could just select one face of the wall and then expand it in the direction that I want and then I don't have to move around much. So you can also do outset. So if I want to make it go out in every direction, I can say outset 5. And it makes the selection bigger in every direction by 5 blocks. So you don't have to just choose every direction manually, you can do it all in one, which is pretty helpful, especially if you want to select everywhere around you and it's really big. It's not just a wall, it's a 3D object. And you stand at the middle and just like click it both times and then it click it right click it and left click it so it sets both positions to the same area and then I want to select the area around it and I can this is useful if say you're having a big forest fire because I experienced this yesterday I'm making a custom map with a bunch of really big trees and one of them caught on fire because there was lava underneath the ground. And that was a bummer because it was a really huge fire, but I was able to stop it before it spread to the entire forest by selecting the area. Now, if I had thought of this at the time and just outset it, that would I would have been able to stop it a lot sooner because I wouldn't have to go all the way across the forest because this is a pretty big forest. And I wanted to make sure there was no fire that I couldn't see anywhere. So if you're ever in a situation like that, and you have a fire, you can just select the same block, then outset it like 100 blocks, just to be sure, and then say, replace fire air. So, you can do that, but you can also select a sphere. Now, Say I wanted to make a sphere, but I didn't, I wanted here. Here's a good example. I'm going to make a like glass area. Well, actually, that's that. No, that's for a that's for a cylinder. So here, let me just show you, and you can figure out what you want to do with it. Cell sphere. So, I left click to make the center, and then I right click to extend it. So, say I want the cylinder's radius, I, mean, I want the sphere's radius to be like here. So, now this looks like a cube. You're probably thinking, that doesn't really look right. I think he may have messed up. But, that's just a visual thing. If I say set dirt, you realize that it is actually a spherical selection. It just does not look that way. Now, I haven't really figured out a good use for selecting a sphere. Because if I wanted to make a big sphere, I could just say slash slash sphere. Then 
block type, and then radius. And it would make that around me. But I suppose if you wanted to change the inside of solid area to a sphere, but still keep the cube shape so the sphere was invisible on the inside or something, that's how you would do that. Now, this, this cylinder selection is a little bit more useful. So, I can say cell and then sill, short for cylinder. So, I left click for the center. And you can't see the block for some reason, even with the mod. Then I right click for one side, and then I right click again for the other side. And it does not have to be a perfect circle, or I guess square as it looks like. So basically it fits a cylinder or ellipsoid, if it's not a square, into the rectangular selection. And then I can say set dirt and it does that. If I want to make it tall, I can say expand 10 and then set dirt. Oh, whoops, I, I accidentally did not specify the direction, so it went just in front of me. The only thing you might find useful, if you expand it without setting a direction, then it will just go outward in whatever direction you're facing. So, expand 10 up and then set dirt, you can make a taller cylinder. So, there you have it. That's really all there is for advanced selections. Um, I mean, some of these are pretty useful, some of them are, as far as I've been able to think of, pretty pointless, like the spherical selection. And it'd be nice if they could actually make, if this World Edit CUI mod could actually make it look like a sphere or a cylinder, but kind of like they do for the polygon, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's pretty easy to visualize a sphere inside of a cube. So. Thanks for watching. I don't really know what my next World Edit video will be. Um, I was thinking about doing craft scripts, but those are pretty complicated, and to be perfectly honest, I haven't really figured those out yet. Basically, it's a way to write your own commands in World Edit to do whatever it is that you want to do. I would have to probably learn JavaScript to do that, so... If I ever do a tutorial on that, it will be in a while. So, basically, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.